Hi guys, Richie Bob here and today I am filming finally of what's on my iPhone 6s Plus in rose gold with its lovely skinny dip llama case. So I'm going to go through every app I've got in here, I've done no prep whatsoever so there's nothing hiding, it's just what I've got on here today which um, is today. The day this is going up is the day I'm filming it, basically. So we've got the standard apps at the bottom, the phone, Safari, Mail and Music. I haven't changed any of those, they're just as they are. Um, I don't use Apple Music, uh, I use everything else. So then we've got Messages at the top, Calendar, Photos, Camera, Weather, Clock, Maps, Video, Notes. I use all these quite a lot. Reminders, as you can see, I use that a lot stocks never use it um i used to bunch things up in folders but i don't do that anymore because i don't have as many because i've only got a 16 gig phone anyway a wallet haven't used it ibooks not really itunes store i've used that a little bit more recently health app i do use that every now and again settings facetime calculator then we've got twitter use that a lot so i've moved these onto the front page actually Facebook, um, Instagram, these are all pretty standard, PayPal, SuccessWiz, that's one that I found quite a while ago. You kind of put in all your goals and what you want to achieve and then you tick them off and it gives you like little progress bars which I quite like. Then I've got voucher codes here which just gives me loads of vouchers which comes in really handy. Podcasts, I use this a lot now, especially when I'm in the bath. I've got quite a few podcasts that I subscribe to and I just let it play through while I'm in the bath or if I can't sleep or if I'm on the exercise bike, that kind of thing. I just let them play and I love listening to them. Then I've got Game Centre. If you want to add me, the username here is Richie Bob Jelly. I've got so many challenges on there I need to do, so if you are waiting for me to respond, I will get to it, I promise. Then extras, oh there is a folder here so this is some of the things that I don't use, I probably need to put some of the things in there as well. Watch, um, only use that when I'm updating to a new operating system. Famebit, which I use sometimes to get sponsorships, so I've got the app but I haven't really used the app that much. YouTube Capture, I use that to upload my vlogs. Spotify, I use to listen to Fabouche music. Tumblr, I use this if you want to follow me on Tumblr. My username is Richie Bob. Oh my god, what a shock. Then booking.com, I use that to book hotels and also to book into them when I'm there. Activity app, this tracks on my activity that I've done um, on the watch. I haven't done much yet today, but it's quite early. Well, it's not, it's one, but I have, yeah, yeah, there's still time. Leave me alone. Then I've got download, which I use to which are the people that made my Rachebot app, which you should get, um, and that gives me all my stats in there. I think I haven't used it that much because I always forget my login. But anyway, UView. This is um, for my UView box, which we use to record TV and things. And I can go in here and I can like discover things and then. I can record them, which I really, really like doing, and the box ends up being really full um, really quickly. Daily Teachings, which is the secret app, it's really good for giving you little boosts every day, so I have that set to give me notifications and remind me to go in there. eBay, Love, Netflix, I'm a subscriber to that, so having it on my phone is a given, especially having such a beautiful big screen, it's great to watch it on. Costa, for the points um, and notifications and all that kind of thing. Um, YB Mobile, which is my bank. Um, O2 Priority, which is my network. That gives me some offers in there if I want to save money as well. Google Maps, which I use a lot in the car. App Store, use it a lot. YouTube, use it a lot. Go away. Messenger for Facebook. Outlook, I use my business email. So that's separate from my actual email as well. And then I've got Twitch, which I use to check the comments while I'm doing live streams. You'll know if you've watched those that I do that. Groupon, again, for the deals. Uh, Voucher Cloud, again, for the deals. Find Friends, which is good to have if you lose your friends. Um, find iPhone, if you lose your iPhone. Pinterest, really, really love Pinterest. And especially love the app 
when I'm on the exercise bike I quite often just flick through all kinds of things and add them to my boards. I'm just obsessed. Rachiebop, which is the Rachiebop app, you should get it definitely. Layout, which is one for Instagram to make your Instagram pictures look pretty. You might also know that I've spelt out some words on these pages. You know, write them in the comments if you spot them. Uh, geocaching, which is um, like a treasure hunting app. Uh, so I've got that there in case I'm out and about and I fancy geocaching. Ping it, which is something that a family member decided to send me some money over Christmas and they use that. I think it's linked to Barclays. So you get the app and they can just send you like a tenner. And it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Odeon, which I've used a lot recently. You can check, because Odeon are like the cheapest cinema in the world and you can like have your rewards card on here um hyperlapse love haven't used much recently but i do love it patreon so i can respond to you guys on there a bit quicker my fitness pal i use to track what i eat and what exercise i do i really love that news i haven't used that much i tried to like customize it and things but i just really no, i haven't no iMovie, I use that to edit my vlogs. Garden Play, actually gonna delete that because I don't think I'm even bothered about Garden Play. Sorry, Garden Play. Um, test Flight, I use that to test apps before they're actually out to the general public. Um, Candy Crush, I am so stuck on my current level. What level is my current level? But I just, I can't even keep going because it's just so distressing. Level 740, and it's really getting me down. Photone, which is one that I recently reviewed, and I really like it. It gives different effects on your Instagram pictures, pages for my Facebook pages. Law of Attraction Radio, which is um, something that I subscribe to on one of my podcasts. This app, I do, I've tried to go in it a couple of times. It doesn't seem to work. So I might have to delete that. Um, Sims Free Play, do really getting back into that now and not struggling with space at the moment, so we're good. The Star Wars app because I wanted to try the virtual reality with my cardboard um, set, so that's why I've got that. Relia, which is a bit like Fame Bit, but this is their app. Again, haven't really used it, but I've got it there just in case. Kimoji, obviously I've done a review of that recently and um, I'm keeping it really just because I paid for it but uh, it's very distressing. Then Aurora Watch which gives me um, details on if there's an Aurora in the area. You may have seen on Instagram lately I posted a picture of the Northern Lights that was due to this app saying that there was amber activity and then we just legged it into the car drove up to Flamborough and got that picture so it's really really good to have. Start Rescue is someone I've just signed up to their breakdown service so they said if you get the app they can see where you are if you break down. God forbid that didn't happen. Birthday Box which is an app I'm currently testing out and doing a review on soon. Breathe which is an app that gives you meditation techniques and programs and things which is something I'm quite interested in at the moment. And a Makeup Movies which I use to get my cheaper movies even cheaper and if you if you use your get your insurance through Meerkat um, compare the compare the market.com not compare the Meerkat then you get access to this and you get to your phone at cinema and being that Odeon is like four pound a ticket it means that you get two people for four pound with that which is so cheap and then Colour Burn, which is one I just got last night actually, and it's got some really awesome filters on it, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to try it on some Instagram pictures and see what kind of effects I can make. So those are the apps I have on my iPhone. Do you have any of these apps? Are there any that I should have now that I don't have? Let me know. I'll put a link to all these apps in the description should you want to get them yourselves and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching goodbye